In this video, I will show you how to make a mosaic plot using Tableau for the Arthritis dataset. To create a mosaic plot in Tableau, we need to create additional variables and do some coding. There's a lot of steps, but it's pretty straightforward. To begin with, download the arthritis.csv dataset from Canvas and open it in Tableau by clicking Text File and selecting arthritis.csv. After the data source tab is opened and the data have been read into Tableau, click Sheet 1. Now drag Treatment, Sex, and Improvement to rows. Then drag Total to the table in the column labeled ABC. This will tell us the number of patients that had marked some or no improvement in their arthritis by sex and treatment. Drag the sum row to be above the none row so that the improvement variable is ordered properly. Next, we need to create a percent of each patient in each sex and treatment combination that had marked some or no improvement. To do this, click the caret menu for sums total on the marks card and select Add table calculation. Under calculation type, select percent of total. Then under computing you compute using, click specific dimensions and deselect sex and treatment and then close out of this by clicking X. Again, drag total to the table. Now you should have the counts and the percents for each category in your table. We need to calculate the total number of patients by sex and treatment. To do this, click the caret menu on the data pane and select create calculated field. Where it says calculation one, replace this with number of patients by treatment and sex. In the code box, enter the following. And then click OK. We're going to drag number of patients by treatment and sex to the table. We'll note now, for a given treatment in sex, we know how many patients were in that category. For example, we know that there were 32 females that had the placebo, and this is the sum of 6, 7, and 19. Similarly, we know that there were 11 males that had the placebo, as this is the sum of 1 in 10. Finally, we need to create a running total to make our mosaic plot start at the right place on the x-axis. This is important for making the visualization look correct. To do this, click the caret menu on the data pane and select Create Calculated Field. Where it says Calculation 1, replace this with Number Patients, and then in the code box, enter the following. Note that this code will be available in a Word document on Canvas. Now, drag number of patients to the table. You'll note we now have a running total. For example, if we look here for male placebo, we see that it says 43. Well, that is the sum of 11 and 32. So that's the sum of the preceding category. Next, if you look at female treated, we see that number is 70 which is the sum of 43 plus uh, 27, which is the number in that category. So this gives us a running total, which we will use strictly to create an x-axis. On the marks card, drag measures values to detail. Remove measure names from columns. Drag treatment then sex, then improvement to detail, treatment, 
effect and improvement. Drag sum total to rows. And this will create a stacked bar plot. Drag number of patients to columns. And now our calculation is a little off, so we have to correct this. So click the caret menu for number of patients and click edit table calculation. Click specific dimensions and select sex and treatment and then close the menu by clicking X. On the marks menu, select bar. Drag number of patients by treatment and sex to size on the marks card. Click size, select sex, and then alignment right. I think I said select sex, I meant select fixed. Great, we now have a mosaic plot, but we need some color. So we're gonna drag improvement to color. Now you may wish to have a different color scale. To do this, you'll click colors, edit colors, and then you can select a different color palette. I am going to select color blind. In order to apply this, you have to click assign palette and okay. Next, we'll create a header for our plot. To do this, create a new sheet and navigate to sheet two. Drag total to columns, then sex and treatment to rows. Excuse me, drag sex and treatment to label, not to rows. Click color, set that to white, and then set the border to black. Then we need to resize this so that we can see our labels. And there they are. Unfortunately, these are in the wrong direction. So what we need to do is reorder these. So we'll click sex. Then we'll click the ascending order button. Then we'll click treatment and we'll click the ascending order button. We now need to hide this axis. And so we'll do that by right clicking and clicking show header. On the tooltips card, deselect include commands by clicking it and then clicking the include commands and hitting OK. Now we're ready to go. We're gonna put this together and we're gonna do this using a dashboard, which is the first time we've done a dashboard in class. So we'll click create a new dashboard and then we're gonna click floating down here. We're gonna drag sheet one to the dashboard. And you'll note what we have two things here right now. We have the plot and then we have the legend. So first what we're gonna do is we're going to right click the plot to hide the, the title. And this is going to be important in order for us to align our, our columns headers to uh, the, the right place that we just created. Next, we should resize this to however big we want it. And then we'll move the legend to being below it and resizing if we want to. Note there isn't any uh, need to resize if you don't want to. What we will do with the legend is we're gonna click the caret and make sure it says uh, highlight selected items. And so what that means is if we click sum, only sum will be shown up here. If we click marked, only marked will be shown up here. Finally, we are ready to add our, our, uh, our header. So we're gonna drag sheet two over here.
we're going to click the, the carrot menu. We're going to select deselect title. And then under fit, we're going to do fit width. Then we're going to resize this so that it fits the size of the, the plot. can see it can be a little a little challenging to do this Great. So now we've got it exactly like we want to. This is going to be the female placebos. These are going to be the female treated. This is the male placebo and these are the male treated. Now one additional thing that will be helpful to do is to make these columns highlighting. So if we wanted to make it so that if we are clicking on one of these, we're going to have to add a highlighter action. To do that, we'll go to dashboard, actions, in the actions dialog box, we're going to click add action and click highlight. What we're going to do here is we're going to deselect sheet one from the source sheets and deselect sheet two from the target seats, sheets and click OK. And then click OK again. Now, if we click one of these columns, we'll see only that column is highlighted which is kind of nice. So you'll have two different ways in which you can highlight. You can highlight by group, or you can highlight um, by improvement group, or you can highlight by the overall column. And this completes the tutorial on how to create a mosaic plot in Tableau.